Howdy, today's date is July 1st, 2015. My name is Christopher Young and we're on sailing vessel Raven. Raven's a 1979 Vagabond. She still has the original um, Bariant 28 uh, winches for the jib sheets. Uh, these are, the 28 is a European standard, so it would translate to an American 52. Really freaking big. So you'll notice that this is not self-tailing. Um, I checked to see how much it would cost to get new winches that are self-tailing, and it'd be about 2,500, so about 5,000 to put in new winches. Um, I did some research online and found that there is a conversion kit uh, just for variant and variant variations. It's called Winchmate, and I'm gonna put it on and show you how it's done. Um, if you're not used to working with winches, it can be a little tricky. Um, first thing you do is you gotta have a tool, it could be like a deck fill tool. This ring is the only thing that we will not reuse. Because basically, this um, thing has a bottom that screws off and it just clamps on here. Pretty simple uh, concept, but it's brilliantly executed. And you end up with a high quality uh, product that seems like it came from the factory, a uh, self-tailor. They're really old, but they look like they're in great shape, and the, the grease looks good, so we're just gonna leave it be. So, um, see that from there. So you do the same thing on the winch bank. Um, one weird quirk is they want you to use some dental floss to gauge how tight you put this extension on. So it goes in these slots. Loss, you want to get it to the point where it won't easily um, slide through. So we're good here. Uh, I need a razor knife to get rid of the extra floss. You just leave the floss in there that's in there. white ring on. Does not need any lubrication. Tighten this little Allen right here. So you're going to need Allen keys to do this job and something to take your winches off. And it's just a couple, like a half turn. So, and now we just put the uh, the self tailor on first. We got to take the oh the holding ring. This thing is reverse threaded. Um, you'll notice on here uh, it says on and an arrow to the left. That just shows that it's it's reverse threaded. It's a little confusing. Oh, on. It depends what <laughs> it depends uh, how you hold it. If it says on or no, but it means on, and you push towards the direction of the arrow to put it on. So we go against it, the arrow to get it apart. So we can assemble the wrench. And you just simply drop it in here. And put these two pieces back together. So it comes from the factory, nice and greased up. And 
and this is, you know, this has to be done delicately. You know? Doesn't need to be super super tight. Um, the winch body is going to do uh, most of the work in actually holding the sheet. There is a fitting on here that comes off, but I'll just leave it on. And you can point the tailors any way you want. Normally people have it so the rope feeds into the cockpit. So these are facing into the cockpit. If we don't like it, we can change it later. Let have a little play. Okay, so in about ten minutes, I now have converted these self tailors. Um, this is a 47 foot boat and when the wind's high it is really difficult to trim the sails uh, without self tailors. So my next project is this Benini support gets in the way. So I gotta figure out what to do with that. Alright, that's all for this video. Fair winds and following seas.